Hey everyone, my name is Aunsh Chaudhary. I'm a product manager at Splunk, and I'm excited to speak to you about Red Hat OpenShift monitoring with Splunk's distribution of the open telemetry operator. To start off with, this is definitely not just a talk with a slide deck. I'm looking forward to walk you through a demo of how easy it is to get started with Splunk Observability Cloud using the operator. So what are some of the challenges with monitoring OpenShift? First, with the ephemeral nature of containers, there is constant change in your environment with different deployments, which makes it extremely difficult to troubleshoot. Second, today, modern applications can be composed of dozens of microservices with containers moving across infrastructure. It's not extremely easy to isolate problems within your environment and really find the root cause of the issue that you're facing. Third, with thousands of containers deployed in your production environments, these do generate a significant number of metrics and telemetry, which you are looking to track within your observability platform. Fourth, with deployments in your OpenShift cluster, identifying the issues as well as knowing metrics on cluster health resource utilization and figuring out thereon how to remediate these problems are common obstacles that you as well as organizations face today. So what do you need to tackle these challenges in your OpenShift environments. First, with automation, you're looking to reduce the time to getting started with lesser effort for your team to deploy and manage agents to instrument your workloads. Second, With easy troubleshooting, you're looking for correlation between metrics traces and logs, helping you remediate the problems and issues that you're facing in your environments. So how many of you have heard of open telemetry? For those who haven't, Open Telemetry is the second most active project in CNCF today after Kubernetes. It is an open source and vendor agnostic solution with a goal to provide instrumentation and, and data collection in your environments to be able to capture telemetry you care about. It supports a variety of different open source and backend solutions that you can then export your telemetry collected out to. At Splunk, we are major contributors to this project, and Splunk Observability Cloud is Open Telemetry native. We are maintainers in a number of the Open Telemetry projects, so feel free to get involved and ask us any questions as well. So I'm now going to speak about Splunk's distribution of the Open Telemetry Operator. This makes deployment and management of the Open Telemetry Collector on your OpenShift Kubernetes environments extremely easy. With the deployment of the operator, you can now pull in CRDs as well as an admission webhook and a controller and use the operator to deploy the Open Telemetry Collector as an agent. The collector is a unified way to receive, process, and export metrics, traces, and logs data 
and also additionally allows handling like retries batching as well as operations like redacting sensitive data. With these deployments, OpenShift specific configurations are automatically applied to your environments out of the box. And in addition to RBAC, there are security con con context constraints that are applied at install time as well. What's great is with the operator, you won't even need to install and configure different language specific open telemetry instrumentation agents. Instead, the deployment of the collector with the operator will include those agents and will automatically instrument all the language runtimes that it detects. Let's now jump into a demo.
So that's it. Hope you found this presentation and demo interesting. Thank you.